All right, here's the outside. Oh, she's a beauty. We have an awning, comes down. Side first. Step up. The bathroom is in the back. Closet to hang up all your clothes. Coat rack. Fan. Okay, right in here. This up here opens and closes to vent the fan. Up here is where we keep all of our towels, toothbrushes, soap. This goes up and down, of course, for privacy. You've got a mirror, sink works. Um, I'm not going to turn it on because we're not hooked up to water now. And then you've got a full-size shower, and we actually wash the kids in this tub right here. Toilet works great. We usually pull over on the side of the road to go to the bathroom and then just flush it here. This is where we keep everything for the outside. We've got flashlights, bug spray, some rope twine. Right as you enter the front door, you've got a... Um, this is the other entrance to the... The closet you can see how deep it is there and then we have this coat uh, we have this rack here that we hang in case it's raining or something we always hang our stuff outside and then let's take a look at the kitchen we've got the cabinet here this is where we keep all the a lot of the pots and pans and then here is a sp spice rack microwave works great okay here's the control panel for the battery water pump and so forth it has a stove that runs on liquid propane. Works fantastic. Made many uh, cookies in this oven here. Again, we typically grill out unless it's raining, in which case we use the kitchen. Sink works fantastic. This little knob broke off. Get a replacement for that. And then underneath here is where we keep all of our cleaning supplies more pots and pans, kitchen towels, and then here's all of the drawers for our spatula. Here's where we keep all of our forks and knives. Again, everything's labeled so the kids know where to put everything back when they're done cleaning. On this side, we've got tons of storage here. Uh, we put little boxes in here so we put our canned goods and stuff. They don't roll around when you're driving. Uh, racks here for grilling, all of our grill stuff, uh, all of our utility stuff like uh, extension cords, rope, anything, batteries, anything you might need while camping. Refrigerator works fantastic. Um, it can either run on uh, liquid propane or when you're hooked up to electricity, it works fine. This is where we keep everything for picnic. We have lights to string up outside, American flag, picnic table, cups, and so forth. And then of course the refrigerator. Uh, it's a good size for the five of us with a freezer. I'd say the freezer, we put stuff in here frozen and we keep it, it keeps it cold, but I don't know that the freezer would freeze something like you're not gonna make popsicles in there. In the center we have the couch. Uh, while we're driving, the kids sit here with their seat belts. We've added a couple of pillows. And then over here we have seat belts on this side as well. So um, uh, lap belts one two three four lap belts and then right, for, let me course, convert this for you because this actually turns into a bed and it's pretty simple um, we keep all of our bedding stored underneath here blankets pillows and such and then all you have to do is go like this boom, and it's a bed it's that easy um, a magazine rack so for people who are hanging out while we're driving uh, there's speakers for the stereo here and here okay reading lights outlets on both sides and then of course st storage up above here's where we keep um, all of our glasses plates and so forth 
And then as you get over here, this is where we keep all of the, the kids' games. We have three kids, so each one gets their own storage locker. This right here converts to a big bed. Um, this comes down, this comes down here, uh, and then all these cushions fold across, so you've got two large beds, and then of course the twin mattresses up above. Technically, it sleeps. Here are the sleeping quarters. It has its own curtains, so if somebody wants to sleep while theirs are up, do that here. Good. One sheets, and then uh, that's a tw these are two twin beds up here. Um, this seat turns totally around, so you, whoever's riding with you can either talk to you or talk to people that are. It's a shoulder harness, and then there's here's this extra storage cabinet here where we keep again more stuff. For the trip, map reading light here and here. Uh, along the radio works, um, and then there's a tape deck here. So we have a bunch of tapes from the 80s that we keep around, and we have a converter that allows you to play your iPhone uh, through the stereo up above. Um, got 24,000 miles on it, which seems pretty low, but we don't take use it that much. So these side. Uh, a little beauty here. Windows open, so we leave these open quite a bit, and they have their original screens in here. Um, get, a, get a nice cross breeze, or you can close them and just blast the AC or the heat. Uh, while you're cooking, we leave this vent open. And then of course these windows uh, roll open. Hey, not sure if you want to see the uh, generator, but uh, here goes. It's behind this thing. There's this little latch here. Let's see what kind of generator it is, and I'll go inside and turn. It this on. is um, this is in the kitchen, and when you want to start the generator, you just push this button right here. When that light goes on, it's running. Super easy. Plenty of workspace. Paper towels. We like to keep all kinds of little continents here. In the storage. And then the AC uh, is awesome. Works really good. Uh, and this right here is the thermostat. When you get it down to here, it gets like a meat locker. So we usually keep it kind of in this mid-range, even in even in Florida. Like, you know, when you're sleeping and stuff, it's fine, you know, in the middle of the day when you're in Florida and it's um, it's really, really hot outside, right? This will keep up with it. But then at night, it's just a little too much. So you back it off a little bit. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, when you want to turn it off, you just hit that little stop button right there. You can either use the regular door or it has a screen door which is perfect for tailgating when everyone's in and out. Um, there's a few outlets on either side. We usually set up our tailgate table over here. In just a minute we'll open the awning. Uh, we've actually bought a new awning but we haven't installed it yet. Controls uh, back of the, the uh, refrigerator. Here is a bunch of storage. This is where we keep our hoses and any tools. We've got everything labeled here, two tire covers, the awning hook, and the toolbox. Here's where you fill up the liquid propane gas tank. We've got a full uh, tank for you. It's got a 15-foot cable. Here's where you hook up the hose. Here's the gas tank. This is where the hot water heater is behind here. And then here are a bunch of items. Again, more tools and stuff, the jacks, the hose for the sewer system. Everything's roadside assistance, sewer hookup, blocks for jacks, tire covers. Um, everything's labeled. This right here is the If you want to have water while you're driving, uh, I fill this thing up. It's a Ford 350 engine. Um, you can get these things repaired anywhere where they serve service uh, vans and trucks.
we when we first bought it we put tires on here uh, you can see they've got tons of tread left on them and we have four wheel covers you, I like to put them on obviously when I'm storing but then also if you're tailgating and stuff it's nice to have the the wheels all covered look nice here's the top uh, you've got the vent for the refrigerator AC big antenna that right there is the vent for the kitchen vent for the bathroom toilet vent pretty normal stuff